Michael and welcome to what's going to be for now called the train shed. I've long had an enthusiasm for model railways. Um, I've had several in the past, different shapes and sizes, um, but until recently I've always rented a house so never really had the opportunity to put a model railway in a, in a room or in a loft in a rented property simply because it just was never permanent. Um, but we've recently as a family bought a home um, and I'm now stood in the shed at the bottom of the garden in that home. Um, this shed was um, put up during the summer of last year. Um, it's stood the winter quite well. Um, one or two little leaks here and there, um, but nothing that can't be fixed. And it's the perfect size for my very first model railway layout. What I'm going to do, I've got no idea. Um, didn't even know I was going to do it until this morning. Um, obviously, a lot of people have got a lot of spare time on their hands um, coming up, including myself. Um, big lover of sport, especially football and cricket. Obviously, not much of that about at the moment. So I thought I'd put my spare time to good use. Um, so, more about the actual layout itself. Um, the shed itself, uh, the, or the path I'm stood in, is 8x8, eight eight, give or take. So there's plenty of room for a end-to-end um, -end, um, or continuous track layout. Um, don't know particularly what I'm going to do. Um, I, I do have quite a liking for Whitby. Um, I've quite often been to Gothland Station, which many of you will know as being um, the train station famous for seen on Harry Potter and also on Heartbeat, for those of you who are old enough to have watched Heartbeat. Um, so that's going to be included somewhere. Not really sure about the rest, um, not, not really sure about ERA or anything else yet, not really giving it a great deal of thought. Just wanted to get a quick introductory video out um, so I can set the scene, let you guys have a look at what, what we're working with. Um, obviously there's a lot of work to do in terms of baseboards and such things which will be done in the coming weeks. Um, but this is just a first update, just to welcome you to my channel, say hello. Um, and watch this space because this is going to be an exciting time. Um, any ideas or suggestions for an 8x8 layout, please let me know. Um, and of course, as always, for all you YouTube watchers, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon and select all so you can get an alert every time I upload a video because there will be lots of videos coming thick and fast. Um, my aim is at least one a week, um, but we'll see how things go. So until next time, thanks for watching, take care.